Okay, welcome to Random Guitar Battles, where we put a bunch of guitarists into a glass bowl. We put their names in a glass bowl, and I draw two of them out at random, and then we compare them, and you guys vote in a poll to see which one is better. And sometimes you can get some strange pairings with this game, and in this case, we've got Nancy Wilson versus Jack White. So I'm going to give you three points for each guitarist, and then you go ahead and vote in the poll and leave your comments down below. So, with Nancy Wilson, the first point that you actually have to make is that she's one of the most accomplished acoustic guitar players in uh, classic rock. Her role as an acoustic guitarist is much more in the front and heart than most um, acoustic players are in their bands. And she did a lot to break new ground in how to not only incorporate classical guitar um, flavors into heavy rock and pop music, but also just how to find a more magnified role for the acoustic guitar. Second thing about her is that she is a groundbreaking for women, female image in rock and roll, not just as a guitarist, but as a rock and roller in general. She inspired a lot of women and girls to pick up the instrument and also to enter into the uh, rock and roll genre and for that she deserves some recognition the third point that i would make for her is that she's a really good songwriter so if you go back and listen to the early heart albums most of them are driven by the acoustic guitar and the best ones have hooks that come from the acoustic guitar which is quite unusual in heavy rock all right so moving on to jack white first thing that i would say about him is that he is an authentic purist that means he's uh, coming out of the blues tradition and he doesn't rely on on poorly manufactured sounds like a guitarist like the edge he uses so many jack whites able to advise on other instruments he can play keyboards he can play drums he can play bass so he's sort of an all-around musician who chooses to use the guitar as his primary focus the second thing i would say about him is that he's a good spontaneous player he has a lot of energy when you see him play live he's totally connected to the spirit of his playing but he's not overly focused on technique and nowadays that's an increasingly unusual way to play the third thing that i would say is that he can write really memorable riffs so if you take something like seven nation army of course finding new ways to drive heavy crowd pleasing riffs in with the guitar is a really tall order but considering how much has already been done with it so i think his inventiveness deserves a little bit of mention and so those are my three points for each of these guitars and now i'll leave it up to you to comment down below and vote in the poll remember to like and subscribe thanks a lot